Hi, Paul here from GenXMix.com with today's celebrations and a quick journey down memory lane for February 9th, 2024. Today is National Cut the Cord Day. National Cut the Cord Day celebrates the release from cable bills and the embrace of streaming services. It's a day when we bid farewell to our cable boxes with the same enthusiasm as a new parent cutting the umbilical cord. Except instead of welcoming a new life into the family, we welcome endless streaming entertainment possibilities. National Pizza Day is the celebration of that magical combination of dough, sauce, and cheese that's captured our hearts and stomachs. Whether it's a classic margarita or a wild concoction of toppings that pushes some to the boundaries of imagination, like mixing pineapple and bacon, nothing brings more people into a boring meeting than the promise of free pizza. So whether you're a fan of deep dish, hand-tossed, thin crust, Chicago, Detroit, or New York style, National Pizza Day is the perfect excuse to indulge in a slice or three of pizza perfection. If you just live for smoked salmon, bagels, and cream cheese, then today's your day, because it's Bagel and Lox Day. Bagel and Lox Day isn't just about food. It's also a celebration of culture and a nod to the Jewish immigrants who brought this delicious pairing to the streets of New York City and beyond. If you're looking for some things to celebrate this weekend, Saturday, February 10th is the Chinese New Year, or Tet for the Vietnamese, National Umbrella Day, and Cream Cheese Brownie Day. Sunday the 11th is Armed Forces Day, National Make a Friend Day, National Inventors Day, and National Peppermint Patty Day. Celebrities that influenced or entertained us Generation Xers celebrating February 9th birthdays include Joe Pesci, who was born in Newark, New Jersey today, 81 years ago. Joe plays a tough guy just as easily as a funny man. Tough guy in movies like Casino, Raging Bull, and Goodfellas, and Funny Man in Home Alone, Lethal Weapon 2, 3, and 4, and My Cousin Vinny. Currently, Pesci is co-starring with Pete Davidson and Eddie Falco in the Peacock series Bubkiss. Actor, writer, and producer Charlie Day is turning 48. Day is best known as producer and actor on the TV series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He's also been in Horrible Bosses and Horrible Bosses 2, the 2015 vacation follow-up, and has lent his voice to Monsters University and the Lego 4D movie. He's also been on an episode of the previously mentioned Peacock series, Bubkiss. Jason George, a.k.a. Dr. Ben Warren, on the TV show Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy, is turning 52 today. And actress on television and movies, Amber Valletta was born today in Phoenix, Arizona in 1974. She's best known for her role as Allegra alongside Will Smith and Eva Mendez on the 2005 movie Hitch. She was also in Transporter 2, as well as the TV show Legends and Revenge. You can watch all four seasons of Revenge this month on Hulu. From Farmington Hills, Michigan, Colin Egglesfield was born today in 1973. Colin has had appearances on lots of TV shows such as Gilmore Girls, Melrose Place, Rizzoli and Isles, and Charmed. In 2005, People Magazine named him one of the sexiest men alive. The band UB40 played their first live show today in 1979 at the Hare and Hound Pub. If you visit the pub today, there's a plaque commemorating the band's performance. Hard to Kill with Steven Seagal and the Gene Hackman and Dan Aykroyd comedy Loose Cannons opened today in U.S. theaters in 1990. And the band Midnight Oil released the album Blue Sky Mining. That CD had what would become my favorite Midnight Oil song, Blue Sky Mine. Even though the song is completely tragic in its lyrics, it's catchy as hell. Just thinking about it now is like a worm singing in my ear. Who's gonna save me? The comedy Broken Girls and the action-adventure blockbuster starring John Travolta and Christian Slater, Broken Arrow, debuted in U.S. theaters today in 1996. Little Red Corvette, the first Prince single to hit the top ten, was released today in 1983. It was the second of three singles off the 1999 album. The other two singles were Delirious and, wait for it, 1999. Do you ever wonder what's going on with the order in which they release movies? Hannibal Rising, the prequel to Red Dragon, released in 2002, Hannibal, 2001, and Silence of the Lambs, from 1991, came out today 
in 2007. I thought the young actor who played Hannibal Lecter was great. He was even nominated for a Most Promising Actor Award. Unfortunately, like Sonny Bono and Michael Kennedy, the young actor's life was ended from catastrophic injuries that he incurred while skiing. Part 1 of the Australian two-part miniseries, Never Tear Us Apart, The Untold Story of In Excess, broadcast today in 2014. People associated with the band say that the docudrama, which explores the band's rise to fame, is fairly accurate. It's streaming this month on Freebie, and I'll put a link to the trailer in today's episode notes. On February 9, 1995, Demi Moore appeared topless on the cover of Rolling Stone, astronaut Bernard Harris became the first black man to walk in space, CD sales were overtaking cassette tapes, and Creep by TLC was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the third consecutive week. You can listen to songs by Prince, In Excess, TLC, and more all day at genxmix.com. Be sure to push the plus, follow, or subscribe button now so you don't miss out on Monday's Gen X Mix today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend.